today i'm going to start a new chapter um, chapter 29 the magnetic field so today it's going to be uh, chapter 29 magnetic field there are some similarities and uh, between the electric field and magnetic field okay so if you remember electric field we indicated with the E I'm going to talk about electric field a little bit because as I mentioned there are some similarities and some differences between the electric field and magnetic field and we already learned about electric field so I'm going to talk a little bit about electric field and then come back to the magnetic field so electric field we indicate with the E uh, if you remember E equal to KQ over r square it's a vector quantity if you know electric field always starts at uh, positive and set negative charge so this is the electric field so it has a, a starting point and ending point I'm talking about this is electric field okay so don't get confused between the electric field and magnetic field now the magnetic field magnetic field has uh, it can be created two ways one is by the way the magnetic field we indicate with B that is also vector quantity measured in Tesla okay so we're going to use this a lot so you better remember B is the magnetic field okay now there are two ways to get the magnetic field one is by permanent magnets so the first one is permanent magnet and the second one is uh, current carrying conductor always produces magnetic field current carrying conductor okay so there are two ways to get the magnetic field one is by using permanent magnets another one is a current carrying conductor always produces the magnetic field some other important points of the magnetic uh, field is so if you look at a magnet magnet always have north pole and south pole okay it is impossible to find um, a magnet with a unipole okay so if i cut this off still i'm going to end up having two magnets one with north pole and south pole okay uh, north pole and south pole both of them so the both of them are going to have two poles one is north another one is south pole now the magnetic field e always always comes out of the north pole okay and get into the south pole and there will be this magnetic field is going to be there inside of that magnet too okay so the magnetic field is a closed loop field so that's another important point so magnetic field is a closed loop field that means it it's going to come out of the north pole um get into the south pole whereas if you remember the electric field on top here electric field starts at positive charge and set a negative charge so th there is a starting point and ending point for the electric field whereas magnetic field there is no starting ending point it's a closed loop so um, closed loop coming out of the north pole entering into the south pole and it will continue inside the magnet too. another important point about the magnetic field i'm representing that magnetic field with the magnetic field lines these magnetic field lines never ever cross each other similar to the electric field okay so the magnetic field lines never ever cross each other now the magnetism is nothing but it's a long range force so some of the important points about the magnetism uh, what is magnetism so I'm going to talk about magnetism um, it is some important point it is a long range force okay always um, has two poles one is north pole and south pole uh, north and south okay same poles ripple each other 
okay so important point um, same poles repel each other opposite poles attract each other these are the some of the basic important points about the magnetism so the magnetic field is going to come from either either permanent magnets or uh, electromagnets that electromagnet is nothing but a current carrying conductor always produces the magnetic field now i'm going to talk about right hand rule this right hand rule will explain the magnetic field direction of a current carrying conductor say for example here is a conductor okay here is a wire long wire a current carrying conductor um let me redraw it okay here is a long wire and current is going upwards okay so current is going upwards now hold this wire in your right hand and assume that the thumb is indicating the indicating the um thumb is indicating the current direction okay here is the right hand rule uh, instead of drawing a picture i want you to go through the slide i mean here it is a better picture okay now assume that the current is uh, current is going current is going up so current is going up that's what the current indicates okay so hold that current carrying conductor in your right hand assume that the thumb indicates the current direction then the folding fingers indicates the magnetic field direction so if you look at here so as long as current is going up the magnetic field is around this conductor and it is rotating in anti clockwise direction this is the right hand rule now how do we find the strength of that magnetic field because of a current carrying conductor so if current is going up here there is always magnetic field circulating around this conductor okay so the strength of that magnetic field we can find out by using biot savart law Okay. I'm going to post another video about uh, about this Biot Savart law. There are some other professors who explained it better than me, so I'm going to post another video about this Biot Savart law. But let me go with the uh, with the equation. Um, how do you find magnetic field because it's a long conductor? So B is directly proportional to I. How much? If more current is passing through it, there will be more magnetic field. Okay, and B is inversely proportional to R, where R, I'm going to use small r, small r is the distance. So this is the this is the distance I'm talking about. So more current, more magnetic field, more distance, less magnetic field. So I'm trying to find what is the magnetic field at this point because of the current passing through this conductor. Okay, so B equal to mu naught over 2 pi that's a constant um, i over r so this is the magnetic field strength at any point um, because of a current carrying conductor where mu naught is is permeability constant so mu naught equal to permeability constant as you know english is not my even second language it's my third language so you will see lots of spelling errors um so that value is constant that value is 4 pi times 10 to the power of minus 7 tesla meter per ampere okay that's a permeability permeability constant now so we found the magnetic field um magnetic field because of a long wire okay. what if i make this what if i make this long wire into a loop of wire so say current is entering here and i'm making that as a big loop and trying to find the current passing um so current is passing through this conductor okay so if you see current is going so if you look at this loop current is going up so the magnetic field is entering here 
and here it is coming out by the way as I mentioned the magnetic field is nothing but a vector quantity so when it comes to the vector quantity I will come back to this loop in a second but let me talk about vector quantity so vector quantity when it comes to vector quantity vector we indicate with an arrow okay so say if this arrow is coming towards you how do you represent what we see this arrow if arrow is coming towards us we will see this this pointer so if arrow is coming out of this board we will see a pointer so that indicates that that vector is coming out of the board out of the board or page okay now if the vector is going in so vector is going in we'll see the back side of that arrow back side of the arrow we'll see cross this is going into the page so that's how we represent the magnetic uh, any any vector need not to be magnet uh, current is also vector electric field is a vector magnetic field is a vector so any vector we're going to represent um, represent by using these uh, symbols now we are finding what is the magnetic field uh, at the center at this point because of this loop of wire and a current carrying loop of wire so I'm assuming current is going there okay so if you look at here okay current is going in so here it is always going in and it is always coming out okay so if you look at here the magnetic field strength inside inside this loop is lot higher than the outside okay that magnetic field at the center uh, assuming the radius of the wire is r so magnetic field at the center of a loop equal to mu naught i times n over 2r where n equal to number of loops okay so i gave you two equations and r is nothing but radius radius of the loop okay so at the center of the loop the magnetic field strength b equal to mu naught i n over 2r and magnetic field because of a long wire equal to mu naught i over 2 pi r i will stop it here thank you